Well, the uh, Cy Young Award winner is Jacob DeGrom in the National League, and it's well-deserved. Yes. I don't know if we'll ever see a player have yeah. a better year. I mean, that was some year that he had. I'm glad he got it, too. Uh, and he had the best ERA in baseball, and Snell, who won the American League, a uh, Cy Young Award had the second best ERA in baseball. Yeah, and that's that's a stat that I think always is is very very important. And according to Mike Puma, he got 29 of the 31st place votes. There you go. It's a new world, everybody. Ten and nine doesn't matter well, <clears throat> because uh, I mean it, that's just the way it is. They they all the guys believe and they're right that you can't put wins onto a starting pitcher because there's so much that he. He doesn't have control. Well, of. it is. And we got into the argument about Felix Hernandez, and you always felt like that there are, there are those times where you know you can't give up a run, and the good pitchers don't give it up. And I understand that, but what chance did he have with the Mets? What chance did he have? I think his last 27 starts were all uh, three runs or fewer, so yeah. quality starts. And I think the only pitcher, hypothetically, that had a better earn run average than him this year were the collective pitchers that faced the Mets offense when he was on right. the mound. And that, that's serious, because the Mets just flat out did not hit for him. Do you realize he won a couple of games, won nothing, in which he got the RBI? Right. I mean, it was just ridiculous that he just got no offense. And this is a pitcher that wouldn't give you five, six innings. He'd go deep into games, and it would be one nothing in two one games. He just he could not afford to give up a run and expect to win. His 1.70 ERA is the sixth best Qualifying total since the mound was lowered in 1969. His 10-9 and record, the fewest victories for a Cy Young winner ever. Uh, Cy Young starter, should I say. Uh, now, as for Snell, he was 9-3. and three, And 1.94 against playoff teams this year, which is amazing, over 79 innings. Uh, Snell's 180 and two-third innings, the fewest for a Cy Young winner uh, winning pitcher in a full, a winning starting pitcher in a full season, but he barely beat out Justin Verlander by 15 points, and he Verlander finishes second for a record tying third time. This is from James Wagner of the Times. Uh, Snell, one of four American League pitchers since the adoption of the DH, who have posted an ERA under two. The others: Guidry, Clemens, Martinez. And the second, Tampa Bay Ray to win the award, joining David Price. But the story in New York, obviously, is Jacob deGrom. And now will the Mets actually, with a GM that used to be his agent, be foolish enough to try to extend his contract when they have control over him for two more years at a decent price? Well, the agent in him felt that he needs to finish his career with the Mets. Uh, the general manager, I think, should just sit and watch him pitch for two years and see what happens. Remember the last time the Mets had a Cy Young winner? They traded, traded him. But that made sense mm -hmm. because I think they looked at R.A. Dickey and said this was kind of a fluky year, and they were right. He never duplicated in Toronto what he was able to do with the Mets, but this is a guy that is special, Michael. This isn't any kind of a fluke, and I don't want to take away anything that Dickey did in that magical season which he got the Cy Young. He deserved the Cy Young, but he kind of saw that would he be able to give that to you again. Even if DeGrom doesn't pitch like he did, he's still going to give you a quality start every single night. You know I always look for credit. So, Don, you were here. He made his first start. I saw it. And what and did I, was I there say? Too. You said this is going to be a good one. We were there. I was sitting with Hurley in the stands. You were calling the game. And Hurley. It was at City Field. And I think he, he pitched six innings, down one nothing. And you said, this kid's going to be special. And he absolutely was. And, of course, I was right. Now, to just show you, to accentuate how the wins sometimes is not enough. Vargas had a 5.77 earn run average on the same team and won seven games. Right. Just won three fewer than mm -hmm. DeGrom, who had a 1.70 earn run average. He finished so. uh, fourth in the Cy Young, Vargas. I don't know oh, if you realize yeah. that. Fourth in um, the Cy Young.